you can see my bot is currently installed and it is uh, online as well and it is ready for use over here hello everyone in this video we will learn about how we can install an APN RPA agent in our system so for that we will hop on to our operation console over here from the navigation menu because in the latest version uh, all the robot all the APN RPA stuff is uh, being shifted to our app operation console so we can either jump on to APN RPA or uh, we will later on redirect to our operation console so first we will jump on to APN RPA and then like uh, when while creating the robot section in our robot tab basically it will ask us to redirect to the operation console so we will re redirect to our operation console over here in this community environment there is one limitation over here that uh, we can only create one RPA agent in our system you know, with this environment basically and along with it we need to ensure that uh, our Java version is upgraded to at least 17 version and uh, our APN RPA version is around 9.10 so first uh, we'll click on create over here to create our APN RPA agent. I'll provide the name of our APN RPA agent. Right. And along with it I need to select the uh, operating system. So if you are a Linux or a Mac user then you need to select the respective operating system. But since I am a Windows user I'll select the Windows operating system. Along with it there is an option to provide a RPA agent to automatically sign in to APN. So let's say before any host machine execute any robotic task, we need to sign in to our environment, right? So either we can enable the automatic sign in from here and by providing the domain and the username and the password. If you have that information handy, then you can provide this information and uh, then click on continue but since I don't have this information handy I'll skip this step and it's an optional step so you can completely skip it so I'll click on continue over here then I need to provide the security to my APN RPA robot so I'll click on add users and groups so I'll select the administrative group over here and provide the administrative level permission to this group and you can see that the warning is disabled so just for the safekeeping, I'll provide the viewer level permission as well to my group. Let's do this APN RPA agent and uh, then click on continue. So now manage connection. This is the most important step while creating a APN RPA agent. We need to install the files on our host machine to begin with testing or to record the robotic task, right? So before that we have two major steps over here as of now as you can see on your screen that we need to make sure that uh, our host machine is ready for installation uh, by this we it means that we need to review the prerequisites so I'll click on this review prerequisite tab and it will redirect me to our documentation so these are the prerequisites which are necessary for installing a uh, agent in our host machine or any virtual machine where robotic tasks can be executed so one of the most important step is that uh, to launch an agent on our host machine java 8 must be installed and you can also download java 8 it's a minimum version java 8 from our oracle website or uh, any open jdk vendor and uh, it is also provided as a warning that we need to use the MSI Java installer from the Oracle website to install Java on our host machine right so uh, what I'll do I'll click on this Oracle website over here and it will redirect me to the Oracle website and uh, where Java download has been provided so as I can see the latest version is JDK 22 right 22.0.1 so it is providing me for the Linux. I'll redirect myself to Windows tab and will click on any of the file like uh, any MSI file or any EXE file or any zip file. If you are using the zip file then you need to extract the file and then you need to install it. 
so I have already uh, done this step uh, this MSI installer I have used this one to install Java in my system JDK version 22 so I'll skip this one and we'll go back over here and see if there are any other steps which I need to follow so this is the only this is the main step which we need to follow over here along with it if I want my uh, agent to launch automatically so I need to configure Appian to sign into the host, host machine automatically so I'll redirect myself to this page and will follow the steps over here by providing the domain and the username and password and uh, other steps uh, such as Windows security which is configured from this uh, documentation over here so since we are not using that one so we'll skip this step over here and I'll redirect myself to my robot page so once my download uh, once my prerequisites are completed I will click on download installer it would hardly take around uh, two to one to two minutes uh, it's a zip file and it's somewhere around 102 MB so we'll wait how till it's get downloaded over here uh, now as you can see the file is completely downloaded so I'll open this file and will extract it with the help of Vim, WinRAR you can use any other tool as well to extract the file or you can use the by default inbuilt feature of Windows as well to extract the file so as you can see there are two files over here one is the RPA installer properties and the other one is the exe file executable file so I'll double click on my executable file RPA installer agent only and we'll see that uh, there is one warning that window will try to protect you like window Microsoft Defender is uh, try to prevent you to run this app so to bypass this one you need to click on more info as you can see the file uh, name of the file which is trying to run and the publisher of the file is App Corporation so you can click on run anyway over here right when you, once you have clicked on run anyway you can see the license agreement you can either read it or directly click on next over here now you need to select the destination folder like where your file will get installed over here so which we will uh, keep that path by default and will keep it handy which might come in later use I'll click on install over here as you can see the file installation is completed and I'll click on close so I'll go back to my uh, ops console and uh, we'll click on done over here and as you can see my bot is currently installed and it is uh, online as well and it is ready for use over here so either you can check it whether the bot is uh, ready uh, check the status of the bot as well along with it you can check from the windows that uh, this resource has been ready for 9.10 version of Appian RPA so this is all about uh, installing Appian agent in our system hope to see you soon in the next video where we will learn about how we can use this agent to create robotic process automatically thank you